Yes, sir. Sir, please, eh? Can I call you? Just can I call you right back? I just have a quick emergency, sir. Yes, I'll call you right back, sir. Right back. Okay, sir. Thank you. <sighs> Babe, what's up now? Wasn't you call? Look, you have to warn your sister. Because if she came here to cause trouble, I will give it to her the way she wouldn't like it. What is it? Can you imagine? I was in the kitchen cooking your meal. And she came and asked me to leave the kitchen. She wants to make you a good meal. <laughs> Look, I won't tolerate that rubbish from her. Okay, but please calm down. Whatever it is, we'll sort it out. I can talk to her. Do you know that? Hmm? But how come she came to the hotel? Who gave her the address? And even the room number? Um, it, it must be Chidi. Uh -huh. uh, Chidi must have called her and she came around. So I guess that's why she's here. <laughs> I knew it. I knew Chidi has a hand in this. But you have to talk to your people <laughs> because they won't like it when I fight back. Fight back? Come on now, babe. It hasn't gotten to that level. At least consider my health. See my hand. Eh? Well, I've said my own. I'll be heading back to the kitchen to finish what I started. If she wants a fight, I will give it to her. She's weekend. She's at last making life unbearable. So the one she claims she loves. What will you do when the one who claims to love you is the one who wants your downfall? Ah, uh, Cynthia, please can I see you outside? Life is the same, but I can make it seem. On it, peace and love. Ooh, the heart is so fragile that it easily gets lost. We all need love and happiness. Yeah, yeah, what a life of big people. Cynthia, calm down. Hmm? See, I just want you to maintain peace for the sake of your brother. Maintain peace between you and um, Gladys. Okay? No trouble. Did he tell you I make troubles? No, no. Not really. But you should understand the sensitivity of this issue. That girl is obviously on assignment. So we need to act with wisdom. Okay? And that's why we will do everything possible to subdue her. But Brussel, I'm thinking, why don't we bundle her out of this hotel? <laughs> See, that won't be necessary. Hmm? Because it may not favor your brother. Hmm? It's not an ordinary thing. And that's why we all need to be careful, especially you. Me? I know if you fear that girl, I will beat her back black and blue. You know me now. She's too small for me. And she could just call her Woto Woto. And you know, when I give her a blow like this, eh, she could almost faint. Calm down, calm down. Don't be you again. Thank God. City, you know. city. Are you now? So, so, I understand. Okay? Okay? So, like I said, for the sake of your brother, let's act with wisdom. Okay? But, bros, what kind of domestic accident is this? Uh, um, okay, Cynthia, I think your brother is in the best position to answer that question. Okay? Um, enough of all these questions. I only called you to tell you that please maintain peace with her. I will try. If not for that again, as more thing. You know now, nah, just respect you and my brother. I mean, no, no. Nah. Oh, no, no, Cynthia, no. Nah. Oh, no, no. <laughs> Better the peace where well, you I will try, bro. Sissy, I'm fucking up your mind. I'm the one who claims to love you. Be the one who wants your downfall. Hey, yeah, yeah. What a life of fake people. When you see them run as fast as you could. Ooh, life is a simple, 
Cynthia, leave my way now. Go back to your seat. You knew I was seated there. <laughs> see, Missy Wahala, is your name written on this chair? Don't start, Cynthia. I don't have energy for this. Gladys, you knew I was seated there. You couldn't even wait for me to leave. You changed my program and sat on my position. Come back to your seat and change my program back. Cynthia, don't wake the demon in me. You know you can't stand me. So just avoid me so I can avoid you. In fact, let's act like we can't see each other. You know you're too small for me. You are the one always wanting to fight and if I face you, you will not like it. You will not like it though. Change back my program. <laughs> Welcome back from your gossip session. Hmm? For your information, I am not leaving this chair. Not even your brother can change my mind. So move. I will beat you. you cannot do I will beat you. Come back to your seats. What is that noise I'm hearing outside? And what is with your voices? Is it not Gladys? She saw me watching a program on TV. I just stepped out with Chidi. Two minutes after, she changed my program and refused to give me remote. And what did you go outside to do with Chidi? Brother, that is not the issue. She deliberately did it just to cause a fight. Cynthia, maybe you should stop listening and having conversations with Chidi. I'm sure he's the one putting you up to all this. On the contrary, he's even the one calming me down. If you must know, he took me outside to ask me not to even pick a fight with her. Where is Chidi now? He has left. Ah. Brother, please, it is you I am respecting. If not so, I will beat that guy. You know what I can do? Please. I will beat her woto woto. Please, 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 please. Let's not, let's not go there. Let's not go there. All these things can be resolved. There's no need for all this, okay? Eh? I'm hungry. I don't know if you can make something for me to eat. What do you want to eat? See your face. What would I like to eat? Anything solid is fine. Like? Like pounded yam. And please, don't make a scene with her, okay? But I just Come talk on. to her. Eh? She's wicked. She's at last making life unbearable. Just thank your God that my brother begged me. If not, I would have diggered it here today. Try it and I'll crush you. You think I'm like him that you have kids? Oh, are you surprised? I know already. <laughs> I just don't have your time. <laughs> you will have my time. Let me just go and prepare food for him. Not like the rubbish you always make for him, stupid girl. Witch. You are, you are lucky today. I would, I would have beat the hell out of you. No sense, girl. You are even scared. Just small hand, you are shaking. Whoa! We are need love. What a life of fake people. When you see them run as fast as you could. Life is a simple, I don't make it. Jason, what's the meaning of this embarrassment? What happened? Why did you ask her to cook for you when I'm here? My sister, she's making pounded yam. I didn't want you to worry now. <laughs> Since when? Okay. If I had asked you to make pounded yam for me. Would you have done that? That's wickedness. I don't have energy for that. Exactly my point. So, my sister is making the pounded yam and you will enjoy it. <laughs> you know you're the one giving her the moral to misbehave, right? Babe, you are taking this too seriously. Don't take it seriously now. Come on. Mm? Please. <laughs> That's your business. Please. My hand. I've been working all day. I need you to give me a massage. Mm. Call your sister to do that for you. Exactly what I'm talking about. Ask my okay. sister. Babe, I need this massage. My waist. Oh. Oh. 